What are the elements that make for a successful career? What do you have to do to focus on your career development to ultimately achieve career success? In this video, I'm going to lay out how to fast track your career. So stay tuned. My name is Cindy Makita Dodd. I am a career strategist and coach and my mission in life is to help people reach their full potential. As a career strategist, but also an entrepreneur that runs two businesses, I know firsthand what you can do to fast track your career and achieve career success. And I want to lay out the exact steps in this video. If you are watching this video, it means that you want to know how to advance your career. Good on you. The first step to achieve career success is to have a plan. Simply going through the motions is not going to guarantee your success. You have to be intentional about your career and especially have a plan. I love the quote by Napoleon Hill that says, plan your work and work your plan. In this video, I want to show you how to create a plan of action and it's a fast and easy way to not only create a plan of action, but to easily accelerate to your career. I call this the three S to rise strategy and it's a simple yet effective way to accelerate your career advancement. The three S's stand for strategize, systematize, and sell. Now let's walk through what each of these words mean for your career success. The first S is strategize. You want to create a roadmap for your career. I love the quote by Yogi Berra that says, if you don't know where you're going, you'll end up somewhere else. You need to have a clear picture on where you ultimately want to go with your career and then work backwards. Now, how do you do this? You start by laying out your five-year, your three-year, and your one-year career goals. So you have to ask yourself the question, ultimately, where do I see myself in five years with my career? Where do I see myself in three years? And one year from today, where do I want my career to be? If you map out this clear picture and this roadmap for yourself by getting clarity on where you want to go in your career, then today you can know what steps to take to ultimately get you there. Having a clear picture on where you want to go with the strategize step helps you be intentional about the career decisions that you make along the way, but also it allows you to better perform where you're at right now. Here are some questions that you can ask yourself to determine where you want to be within the one, three, and five year plan. What position do I want to be in in one year, in three years and in five years from now? How much money do I want to be making at each stage? What skills do I have to develop to get me from my one year to my three year to my five year plan? The strategize step is all about creating that roadmap for success because without a clear picture of where you are going, you cannot fast track your career. So create that plan of action, have a clear roadmap on where you want to go and then work backwards. Very often, people are not able to get to where they want to go in their career simply because they don't have clarity on what success looks like for them. You have to know where you ultimately want to go in your career in order to achieve success. Success for me might be different to what success means for you. So if you have that clear plan of action of where you want to be at each stage within that one year, three year and five year plan, you can picture yourself there create that roadmap, but also map out the steps to get there. The second S is systematize. There are three important elements that you need to systematize throughout your career. And those three are feedback, relationship building, and learning. The word systematize simply means to organize in an arranged manner or system. So if you can systematize collecting and receiving feedback, systematize how you will build key relationships within your career, and especially systematize learning and career advancement, this will help to accelerate and fast track your development. Let's look at how you can systematize these three things. The first is feedback. Feedback is an essential element to career success. It's important that you have a systematized way of collecting feedback from your leadership, from your managers or supervisors. Because ultimately, the more feedback you can receive, the faster you're able to accelerate to that next step within your career. This could look like scheduling a time to meet with your manager bi-weekly or even every month so that you can track your progress and see areas for improvement. The more communication you can have with your leadership and especially soliciting feedback, it positions you to ultimately rise because the more feedback you can get, the more you are positioned to grow. So you need to systematize how and when you collect and receive feedback from those 
those around you. Put it on the calendar and make sure that it's a regular habit throughout your career. Without feedback, you'll simply be moving blindly throughout your career. And that is not something that you want to do. Get into the habit of receiving and being open to receiving feedback so that you can ultimately grow. The second is relationship building. We cannot accelerate our career by ourselves. It's important that you systematize a way to build key relationships throughout your career because they build the foundation to success. Helen Keller says, alone we can do so little and together we can do so much. No one successful person has achieved career success by themselves. We need people and especially key relationships to ensure that we fast track our careers. Be intentional about building relationships internally. That could mean with fellow teammates or co-workers outside of your direct team, but still within your organization. For example, building a relationship with somebody in another department or another team. And then thirdly, build relationships of people outside of your organization that are perhaps within the same industry or even in a different industry. You never know where these key relationships could lead. So get into the habit and systematize a way to build relationships on an ongoing basis. Something that I like to tell my clients to do is to schedule virtual coffees. Meet with people on a regular basis, whether it's once a week for 15 minutes or even every other week for 30 minute chats to get to know people, to build relationships and especially one-on-one -on -one ties with those around you. They can really help to propel your career. And the third thing that you need to systematize is learning. Ongoing learning and development is a key part of career success. And if you are not learning and growing, you are regressing. Systematize how you learn and develop on an ongoing basis so that you can add value to your teams and be positioned for that next opportunity. Don't simply rely on on-the-job training. Take courses outside of work. Go to conferences and seminars. Challenge yourself to grow and to think bigger. The only way that you will fast track your career and not remain stagnant is by getting in the habit of ongoing learning and development. Challenge yourself to read regularly, to listen to audiobooks and podcasts outside of your work environment. This will position you for career success. Another way that you can learn is by seeking coaching and mentoring. Join online communities where you can learn from others around you. Prioritize your learning in order to achieve career success and ultimately fast track your career. And the third S is to sell. Now I know when I mention the word selling or sales, it makes people get nervous and cringe. But let me tell you, sales is a key element in your career success. And you have to get into the habit of learning and being comfortable with selling. In reality, as humans, we use sales every day. Whether you are convincing a friend to try a new restaurant, or you are convincing your toddler to go to bed at a certain time, every kind of convincing or negotiation that takes place is a form of sales. You need to know how to sell if you want to fast track your career. And here's what I I mean. In order to grow your career, you need to know how to negotiate and sell. This could mean negotiating your salary and benefits, maybe asking for more resources for a project, negotiating a potential partnership with another organization or team, or even selling yourself for a new role. Selling is an important part that you need to get comfortable with if you want to fast track your career. In all of these cases, you need to be confident in demonstrating value, in selling and negotiating for some something that you believe in, and even more than that, positioning yourself to ask for what you want. And so to recap, my three S to rise strategy to fast track your career. The first S is to strategize and create a career roadmap so that ultimately you know what you are working towards. The second is to systematize, and that is create a system and a plan of action on how you will solicit feedback, build relationships, and ongoing training and development. And the last is, is to sell. Get comfortable with selling your value to ultimately ask for what you want. I hope that you found this video useful on how to fast track your career to ultimately achieve career success. If you found this video useful, give it a like, Comment below any questions that you have regarding career advancement and acceleration. Make sure that you subscribe to my channel for more job seeker, career and success related tips. As usual, I have free downloads in the comments of this video. So click if you want to, number one, sign up for my free masterclass where I show you how to land your dream job in the next 60 to 90 days guaranteed, but also the free download on how you can be a stand-up candidate when you are applying for your next role. Click the link below this video and I'll see you on the other side. Bye for now.